Hello and welcome to MBKM Models. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more great aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Douglas DC-4E was an American experimental airliner that was developed before World War II. The DC-4E never entered production due to being superseded by an entirely new design, the Douglas DC-4C-54, which proved very successful. Many of the aircraft's innovative design features found their way into the Nakajima G5N bomber after the single DC-4E prototype was sold to a Japanese airline and clandestinely dismantled for study by Nakajima at the behest of the Imperial Japanese Navy. The design originated in 1935 from a requirement by United Airlines. The goal was to develop a much larger and more sophisticated replacement for the DC-3 before the first DC-3 had even flown. Such was the initial interest from other airlines that American Airlines, Eastern Airlines, Pan American Airways and Transcontinental and Western Air TWA, joined United, providing $100,000 each towards the cost of developing the new aircraft. As cost and complexity rose, Pan American and TWA withdrew their funds in favour of the Boeing 307 Stratoliner, which was anticipated to be less costly. With a planned day capacity of 42 passengers, 13 rows of two or more seats, and a central aisle or 30 as a sleeper transport like the DST, the DC-4 as it was then known would seat twice as many people as the DC-3 and would be the first large aircraft with a nose wheel. Other innovations included auxiliary power units, power boosted flight controls, alternating current electrical system and air conditioning. Cabin pressurization was also planned for production aircraft. The novel tail with three low vertical stabilizers enabled use of existing hangars and provided sufficient vertical fin area to allow the aircraft to take off with only two engines on one side operating. The wing plan form was similar to the DC-3 with a swept leading edge and almost straight trailing edge. The four 1,450 horsepower Pratt and Whitney R280A twin Hornet 14-cylinder radials were all mounted with noticeable toe-out, particularly the outer pair. The prototype NX18100 serial number 1601 first flew without incident on the 7th of June 1938 from Cloverfield in Santa Monica, California, piloted by Carl Cover. Testing issues, however, delayed the approved type certificate until May the 5th, 1939. It was used by United Airlines for in-service evaluation during 1939. On June the 9th, 1939, when the DC-4 was in Dayton, Ohio, along with Carl Cover, Orville Wright was a passenger on a flight over the city. Although the aircraft was relatively trouble-free, the complex systems proved to be expensive to maintain and performance was below expectations, especially with an increase in seating to 52 and gross weight to £65,000. The design was abandoned in favour of a marginally smaller, less complex four-engine design with a single vertical fin and 21-foot shorter wingspan. This newer design was also designated DC-4, leading the earlier design to be redesignated DC-4E, E for experimental. In late 1939, the DC-4E was sold to Imperial Japanese Airways, which was buying American aircraft for evaluation and technology training transfer during this period at the behest of the Imperial Japanese Navy. It was reverse engineered becoming the basis for the unsuccessful Nakajima G5N bomber. To conceal its transfer to the Nakajima Aircraft Company for study, the Japanese press reported shortly after purchase that the DC-4E had crashed in Tokyo Bay. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.